Hey everyone, welcome to Evolution Tesla, your source for the latest features, updates, and self-driving tech in the world of Tesla. In this episode, we'll be continuing our extreme autopilot testing on the Gauntlet and on the Snake, with some really surprising and encouraging results using the latest version of the software, 2019.12. All right, let's hop in the car and get testing. The first autopilot test route is the Gauntlet. It has a number of tricky elements including narrow lanes with no shoulders, tight turns, blind corners on hills and more. It really puts autopilot's lane keeping abilities to the test. Okay, just about to test the new version 2019.12 on the Gauntlet. Okay, let's put on autopilot here and see how it fares. Nice and smooth on that corner. And of course, as usual, you'd normally keep your hands on the wheel, but for this demonstration, I just have them at the ready. Now, last time in this corner, it slowed down to 42 kilometers an hour. Let's see if it can go a little faster through. Oh, nice and smooth here. Actually quite a bit faster, 46, 47. A little bit on the outside there, but I think we kept it in the lines. Yeah, nice and smooth around here as well. Pretty good. And coming up to a little blind hill here. Sometimes it gets a little jerky, but no, not too bad. Keeping it in the lines, I hope. little S curve here, nice and smooth, and pretty good. And the previous version handled that direction pretty well. Let's check it the other direction where we had some problems going over the lines. Okay, so we're heading the other direction on the gauntlet, and we'll activate autopilot here and see how it does. Now this, this direction had a little bit more problems uh, than the other direction last time with the old software. Had some issues going over into the oncoming lane a bit, so we'll test it out and see how it does here. Slowing down on its own, down to 60, because it thinks it's only 50 in here. So it could actually do a bit faster if it detected the speed limit correctly. So maybe they'll uh, give us that option in the future with the detecting the speed limit signs. So last time we had some problems around this corner. It handled the first corner okay and then it went, went over the line right after. So let's see how it does this time. Staying in the lanes nicely here. A little wide there but it's keeping it in the lanes I think. In the lines. Yeah, nicely there. And it's a little more to the left than I would like, but I think it's okay. Now here's where we had the big problem last time. It would go way over into the oncoming lane, so I'm going to be ready to grab the wheel if I need to. And yeah, it's a little over there, but I think quite a bit better than last time, smoother. Smoother through here as well. Last time it got quite jerky, but uh, yeah, I think it's an improvement. Still a little over, more over than I'd like. But overall, I'd say it's a, it's a much better improvement over the previous software. And uh, let's do some more testing. Okay, so we're just coming up to our roundabout here. See if we can test the new version, see how it handles these. Just for fun. Probably won't be able to make it, but let's just see what happens. Uh, it's a little busy here, but... He's going way down. That makes it easier. Let's see what happens. No, uh, no, we're kind of going into the other lane. So it's not very well marked in that roundabout either, so can't really fault it for that. 
Let's see if we slow it down to 50. Let's see what happens here at this light. Are we going to get the warning? No, I have to slam on the brakes last second. I don't think it seems, it doesn't seem to be working, so. I don't know, hopefully other people have better luck with it, but. I don't really feel like slamming on the brakes at a red light just to test it with all these people around. Okay, we're coming up to a roundabout here. Let's see how the new version of the software handles that, just for fun. It's probably not going to be able, be able to make it. It's not really meant to yet, but let's see what happens. I'm going to turn down a little bit. Uh, did pretty good there. Oh, now it wants to go and then it's freaking out. Okay, so it's not ready yet. It's what I thought, but just for fun. All right, let's head over to the snake and see how it handles that. Okay, we'll get one last shot at a roundabout before we head over to the snake. I'm going to turn right down to 50. Let's see how it handles the turn here. Hopefully we get a clear intersection to try it out. Okay, let's see how it does here. It's turning pretty sharp. It's keeping it in, but it wanted to go all the way around. It might have actually made that turn, but that's not the way I want to go, so. And obviously, the uh, Navigate on Autopilot won't guide me on surface roads like this, on back roads. It'll only work on highways, but one day. The second Autopilot test route is called the Snake. It's currently beyond the capabilities of Tesla's Autopilot system, with no center or shoulder lines, a hairpin turn, and steep incline. But we'll continue to test Autopilot here until it's able to successfully navigate this very difficult route. Oh, picked up the lines really quickly here. Let's set it to 50 and see how far we can get on the snake. So I was here a couple days ago with 2019.8.5 and it almost ran me off the road. It got a little too confident in itself, so let's see how it does here. It's, it hasn't freaked out yet. It's a little far over to the left than I'd like, but it's handling the curve okay. I would have preferred it much more over to the right there. But I don't think it's ever made it this far. This is pretty good. So there's an oncoming car here. Hey, another Model 3. A nice little wave. It probably doesn't know I'm <laughs> testing autopilot on this crazy road. Wow, we've made it really far here. Hasn't disengaged or freaked out once. Let's see the hairpin. I'm gonna keep an eye out. It's going around the corner, but yeah, there's someone coming. Okay, let's see here. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> That's a little too tight for the autopilot right now. Something's going on up here. A little traffic jam. Okay, so there's some cars on the side of the road here. I don't know if I'll be able to test autopilot going back, but let's give it a quick try. All right, well, let's see if the coast is clear at all. Fix the lines nice and quick there for engaging autopilot. Maybe I'll set it down to 45 to see what happens here. Yeah, I don't think I should really try this here with these cars, but let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, no. It started to turn too fast and I disengaged. But overall, going up the hill here was a huge improvement over the previous version. Definitely didn't make it that far in any previous iteration of the autopilot software. Wow, some really great improvements in the lane keeping with this latest version of the software. We're almost to the point where the car can navigate the gauntlet perfectly, and it did remarkably well on the snake with its unmarked and winding curves. There's still some room for improvement, but I know that Tesla has some more advanced software in the works, along with their upcoming full self-driving computer upgrade. I think Elon may not be too far off in his predictions of getting full self-driving by the end of the year. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you found these videos useful in your decision to purchase a Tesla vehicle, you can use my referral code here to get both of us a thousand miles of free supercharging. 
If this is your first time here, I hope you'll subscribe and click that bell so you can stay up to date with the latest updates in self-driving tech from Tesla. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see here in the future, let me know in the comments below. Have an awesome day, and we'll see you next time on Evolution Tesla.